Hi everyone, I live just outside of Glasgow and the River Clyde flows through the city centre. Now the River Clyde used to be one of the world's most important shipbuilding centres and some fairly impressive ships have come out of the River Clyde. My personal favourite is the QE2 because my dad used to work on the ship when it was being built. Right, today's mission, should you choose to accept it, is to come with me to the King George V dock or at least the area around that because I want to have a look at some cruise ships. Now, COVID-19 has had an effect on all travel industries and cruising is no exception. Uh, cruise ships have been docked around the world until things improve. There are less cruises operating because there's less demand at the moment. So, we're going to go and see if we can see some of these cruise ships which are docked and uh, I'll see you when we arrive. Well, I've made it to the picturesque south bank of the River Clyde. Uh, I've seen the ship's funnels in the distance, so I know they're still there. The challenge, however, is how to get closer. Hmm. Right, let's get going. It's blackberry season. Perfecto. The first point I tried to explore, I knew it was going to be a failure, but I had to do it anyway. I'd done a quick check on Google Satellite and I thought the angle's not right, I won't be able to see anything. And as expected, I wasn't able to see anything. Although I did find some more blackberries. Right, down here. That's a good one. I've reached a point where I can actually see the ships, or at least the top half of them. These are part of the Azamara cruise line. Uh, I'm not familiar with it, but then I don't sell cruises and never have. I've been in travel for 40 years, but it's been mainly corporate travel I've done. Uh, right, I'm going to go up the road and see if we can get a better look. That's the best shot so far. I have to watch what I'm doing because it is a port facility and security is a bit tight. I don't want to get arrested. I also want to get away from here because there's a recycling centre across the road and the wind's blowing in the wrong direction and absolutely stinks here. Right, let's keep going down this way. Well, that was the entrance to the port. I was going to go down to the gate and ask the man nicely, is it possible to go in and get some footage just for you guys? But I thought the chances of that succeeding were somewhere between slim and none. I do have a plan B though, plan B, always have a plan B. Unfortunately, plan B is down here, and when I say unfortunate, I'll explain once I get there. I say unfortunate because I have to use the Clyde Tunnel. I've got a condition which I call tunnelophilia, a love of tunnels. They're usually dark and spooky and mysterious. The Clyde Tunnel is not one of those. It's just a bit dangerous. In fact, at one point it had such a bad reputation for muggings and assaults, the only way you could get in as a pedestrian or a cyclist was to press a button and someone in the control center would let you in. Anyway, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. It's quiet. What's the worst that could happen? We'll find out. Anyway, I should be at the other end in about 10 minutes. Yeah, this is not a glamorous tunnel, I can tell you. This is definitely not on the tourist trail.
I've just noticed there's no CCTV cameras in this tunnel. So once you enter, you're on your own. You can actually hear the rumble of the, the cars above us. Well, I made it. Uh, it's not nice in there. I passed two cyclists and two other pedestrians, one of which was a schoolgirl. So maybe it's not that bad after all. But it is just a bit creepy. Right, let's go looking for some ships. I don't know the north side of the River Clyde that well. You see, I'm a, a south side boy. But uh, I've got a rough idea of where I'm going. And if everything goes according to plan, there should be one or two streets which jut out from this charming industrial estate right to the river, and hopefully we'll get a good view of the ships from there. Fingers crossed. Well, I finally made it to one of the few public access points on this side of the river, and the view isn't great. Just for a split second, it crossed my mind that I could borrow a friend's drone and get some spectacular footage of these ships for you. But then I thought, being a secure port, I'd probably end up in prison for five years. Anyway, I did my best. I hope you enjoyed this little urban adventure. Please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Right, seriously, how do I get home now? Because I don't know this part of Glasgow very well.